Hey everybody, uh, Spoonvet here. Uh, it's been a long while since I recorded a video, and it's mostly due to the fact that I got my own complete server, which was a blank. They just give you hardware, and uh, I had to get everything to work, which was a pain in the ass and a fun learning experience. Um, I got most of it to work yet yeah, already, so I have my um, email server with spam set up. I have my DNS server. I have the FTP ready, I have my SQL ready, so I only have to do the uh, web server bit and complete the tables that I had on my old server and then I'll be done. So that will probably be the, this weekend that will be done. Um, right now I'm making a video about Slutas because there was somebody who asked questions about that and I'm also still working on getting Black Ubuntu online, um, but the, the site that I used for that did not want to accept my input um, like every time so I don't know why I'm wrong there uh, I could use I could put it up on my site but then before you know it I'll have loads of people downloading countless of gigs from my site which would not be a problem because I have 10 terabyte uh, bandwidth so but still uh, I have to figure a solution for that. Maybe I can get it uploaded on some torrents somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, the the questions that he asked about Slit were uh, what is it based on? What repositories are using? Is the rolling release? How much RAM does it use when you run it in your system? And does it connect to Wi-Fi easily? Uh, I'll do this in a well, seemingly random fashion, actually. Uh, let's start with the last three questions. So, is it a rolling release? Um, no, it's not a rolling release. You have to download it every time and you update or upgrade or whatever. But it's not. It's not like Arch Linux. Uh, RAM usage. I have no clue. So let's see if this is on there. Well, I have a total of one gig, and it's only using about oh, one forty MB. So um, that's it for RAM usage, and it doesn't use swap space at all right now because I don't. I'm just running it live, so it's I don't, didn't install it, or whatever. It's just running live. Uh, so it uses about well, about 140 megabytes of memory, which is not that bad. Um, what else? The Wi-Fi connectivity does it connect easily to Wi-Fi? Well, you go here. It says there uh, WLAN zero. That's an error. That's true because mine is WLAN one. But um, since I'm on a virtual machine, I have to connect stuff and then disconnect and I have to do some tricks uh, to get my because my inbuilt wireless card does not get uh, recognized by any of the Linux distros or a virtual machine at all because it's using NAT. But um, I have a USB plugin. Um, wireless card which I plug in so you go to configure you just type in root now uh, you can see the command here it's using it's using netbox WLAN 0 but it should be WLAN 1 but it doesn't really matter you click here the wireless um, then you say wireless manager and then it's going to scan the interface well there we have my awesome network double click on that and it will say a key so I will I'll put in the key which is blurred obviously Encryption on status cannot connect to ah there we go it was on the wrong mode uh, start connection and now it doesn't do anything. And it's using the wrong drivers. Oh my god, why? 
Um, now I have to use all of the text. That one. No, I actually. So far, no, it's not easy to connect to wireless, but. I need the. What is the one? What was it again? RT2500 USB. That one load. All right, that's that. That is that. Ah, we are connected. My God, we are connected. So no, it's not easily to connect to Wi-Fi. You should have. You you should set up quite a lot of stuff, but. Maybe it will load automatically everything uh, when you're having built-in and running it as a built-in, uh, like running it from a CD, so it loads all the modules in your PC. It will probably just connect fine. Uh, wireless refresh list should be connected. Yeah, it should be connected there. Here it says still. So that one. So I'm gonna close that one and. As you can see, it's just fine doing its stuff as it should be. And then here I can do man ls usb. And then we can see that that is the package installers. So that's the, like the package manager. So let me see if I can find anything calling itself sources.list. Hey, you don't have a uh, scroll bar. Hmm. It's not in there. Uh, let me do that one. Um, find name tabs. Uh, list all available package on the mirror. No, I just want to know what the configuration files for these are. Where was it located? In for lip task package. Okay. Mirror, okay, cat. Mirror. There are the packages it's using. So it's not they're like not really repositories. There's just one mirror uh I think. Um let me let me CentOS and I like Red Hat Linux use the same one. I think the same construction. That like you only have one like URL and below the URL there's a certain uh, architecture and that causes you to find or not find packages. So if I should say test package uh, I think it was this or something like that. What was it again? Install list. Uh, Install this. Oh, you don't have to do anything. Ooh. Install this. Please change the directory to the packages the repository and specify the list package install. Oh, 
Oh, no, that's not what I want, wanted to do. Uh, list mirror, that's what I wanted to do. Sorry. Uh, list mirror, this one. So now it's connecting to all these lists that are probably on that uh, server. So if we do cat mirror, here you see that it's that it updated its server, and now you can see that there are loads of other ones like added to that one. But let's just get this one. Can't you? Oh, you cannot do that. Alrighty then. That's annoying. Um, uh, I know. Let's see, Taz web browser. Has it here? It should be mirror dot slip that org slash. Yeah, I have to type it like that because I can't copy it. Um, it's packages slash cooking slash. So here you can see uh, like all the packages. So all the tasks, PKGs are here. Um, and there you can see the switch.ch, for example, which is also here, for example, mirror.switch. So it's, it, it loads all this stuff, basically, and just goes through this uh, here below as well. So um, if you want to know the repositories, then basically this is it so and there you see the packages list and package md5 and packages text that it will find try to find first so it knows like what is in the probably in here if you look at it so you can see here what kind of packages are in there and they correspond to the names out here um, packages the list is probably also just a yeah, see so as you can see it's just a name list and if we go up in here I don't know how far we can scroll back uh, we can scroll back for quite a while so let's not do that because my mouse is making a lot of noise on the mic I know that uh, go to the bottom here we are so you see you so you see the same um, corresponding lines right and left so uh, here is probably a YouTube download module that you can download YouTube film like films and clips. So um, yeah, that that's how the repositories work on Slithers. And then we have based on. I don't know um, what based on really means, but um, if you mean the architecture, I'm running the uh, x uh, the 64-bit one. But um, if you're talking about like uh, is it based on Debian or Ubuntu or that sort of thing? It is it on its own. So they they made it, they built this whole thing up from Slithers from the kernel up. So they so they took this kernel, the two six thirty seven, and just compiled that and built it and made it uh, until it is Slithers as it were. So uh, I hope that answers your questions. Um, and I hope that will make you want to have this or not. Uh, I know one person commented, um, sorry I don't know the names because it was a long time ago already, uh, that it was, oh no that was on Body Linux, no sorry, no. he said on Body Linux that it was uh, only good looks and nothing more, but I was like yeah, but it's very hard to get uh, on Linux good looks. A lot of these search out there that are pretty good, but if you look, take a careful look at them, you think, hmm. Presentation is not too well. Like this menu, for example, it falls so out of line with the rest. I mean, if you look at this top uh, bar here, it's it's like a very deep dark red, almost brownish red, which is awesome. It, and then the background here, the, the the desktop background is perfect. And this one is a lighter shade uh, as that one, so this contrasts pretty heavily with that one, which is suits fine actually. It's it's not that bad. But then you get the menu and it's just like it's gray and and uh, it falls so out of line with the rest. But I know that they cannot do too many visual effects. They have to like work with the things that they have because otherwise uh, the problem is that well now it only runs. Well, I, mean, uh, I could run test web browser and see 
what's going on now. As you can see now, I'm I'm running a web browser. Uh, I'm running another kernel, but I'm not a kernel. Uh, not a terminal. Uh, let's let's fi fire up another application. You might what might you have on as well? Uh, I have no idea. What would you have on at the same time? Hmm. Development. No, it's not what I want. But you might have Sudoku on at the same time. Graphics. Ah, no. You also have Midori web browser uh, for people who want that. Uh, you might be in RC. And uh, let's run this command again. Well, we have a couple of applications on. And let's go. We, we can't go to my site yet, so we'll go to another site, which is which will be go to rngeek.com. It's hardly using any more than it had before. Now it's using a lot and going up so as you can see it's going steadily now close that one and it's right back down to almost nothing so there's a slight increase indeed if you're using something that's a little bit more taxing than the others but overall the memory usage is very little indeed. Um, that's it for all the questions. Uh, and I hope, yeah, I hope that answers it all. Um, for the other people that think my questions weren't answered, I am still working on the project of, I don't know who suggested it anymore, but uh, <laughs> I'm still working on it. I have everything lying ready. Which was to explain how which add-ons we could use from uh, Firefox and Chrome to like get anonymous on the internet. Uh, I have that that piece I've ready, but I didn't have time yet to record it. Um, Black Ubuntu I'm still working on, and I'm working on my server. And after that, uh, I will be updating like a small video on what the future of Spoonfed will be. So yeah, loads of things going on. Um, that's it for now. Babe.